staff to thank them for their support and present to them this Blue Devil football souvenir. First Church would like to wish the Blue Devils a successful season. We invite you to our Sunday school and worship services. Come see us in our new Family Life Center opening this fall. Go Big Blue! Oh. Zachary back deep, C and Stafford are the short men at the 10. And again, he's got that wind at his back, so probably will get it in the end zone. He did the first kick. Zachary will stand at his own two-yard line. Here's a whistle, 11 and trailing, 7 to nothing. And here is the kick, a squibbler along the ground. They're going to make him handle it. Ron C. will take it at the 10, back to the 15, C to the 20. Slides out over the 25, C still on his feet over the 30. Bounds out to the 35, nearly the 36-yard line. Great effort by Ron C. on the return as the up man takes it and gets good field position for the Blue Devils. Terry, first, what about that scoring drive? Tommy Knoxville Farragut goes 43 yards in five plays. Their quarterback, T.J. Mahan, scores the touchdown. David Burnett adds the extra point. 341 left in the first quarter. Farragut leading Lebanon 7 to nothing. Ball just over the Lebanon 35-yard line, and here come the Blue Devils. C to the near side. Zachary to the far side. They pitch it to Stafford. Stafford trying to turn the corner. Got a little room. Stafford still on his feet. He's loose. 45-50. 45-40. Stafford gone. 35, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Lebanon. Oh, man. He got the corner turn. Just, I thought he was going to run out of real estate. I didn't think he had enough room to turn the corner. And this crowd goes eight. John, you saw it down there. He just outran the angle. Tommy had five guys that could have made the tackle, five guys that quit. Chris Stafford doesn't quit. He took it right down the sideline. It had to be renomous, whatever the word is, from Clinton, because what a run. Gannon into long snap, presses the hold to kick up. It looks good. It is 304-7-7. No flashes are filled. This sideline rep senior football cheerleader and we're here with J.R. Hobbs and Sons Realty to award them a Blue Devil souvenir for their support of the Lebanon High School football team. On behalf of J.R. Hobbs and Sons Realty and Auction Company, I'd like to wish the Lebanon Blue Devils a clinic bowl season. Go Big Blue! Welcome back to, welcome back to Lebanon as Chris Stafford answers the Farragut touchdown by going 65 yards Kyle Zachary adds the extra point with 3.04 left in the first quarter. It's now 7-7. Boy, that's got to jack the Blue Devils up a mile high. 3.04 to go as Terry told you, 7-7, and Lebanon will kick off. Zachary will kick it. And here is Zachary's kick. Long and deep, going to be fielded at the 19, and he's going to take a knee. I don't understand that. But he went back right in the shadow of his man that was going to catch it. Caught the football, took a knee at the 19-yard line. Lebanon wasn't close. Well, Thank they, you. They saw some of that film from the Clinton football game, apparently, where Lebanon kicks the pop fly, and they were going to make sure somebody got under it, and Lebanon didn't catch it. Clinton, or rather Farragut, will have it at their own 19-yard line. Blue Devils hold out for three more minutes and four seconds. We turn this thing around and get the wind at our backs. 7-7, seven to seven. Lebanon just answered on a great run by Chris Stafford. Here's a handoff to Dixon. Dixon's free, and here comes Dixon sliding outside. 35-40, 45-50. Carson chased him, drags him down. Carson dug him down from behind at the level and 40. Six foot four, 235 pounds. Elliot Carson's playing on a bad wheel, folks, but he still runs down the speedy back from behind. Dixon, Terry, a great pickup on first down for Farragut. From the Farragut 19 all the way down to the 11 and 40. That run good by 441 yards by Dixon. First down, Farragut. Can you believe Big Carson chasing him down from behind? He had to. That's why he did it. He had to. Here comes Farragut now at the 11 and 40. Mahan down the line. Going to keep it. Slide outside. And he's going to be popped pretty hard as he makes the 35. Lucas is there, and Alls was over there, and Clemens was there for the Blue Devils. A gain of about five. It's second down five at the Lebanon. Nose of the football just barely at the Lebanon 35. 
I, I tell you what, I don't think we'll have the offensive explosion to rival that 65-64 game Farragut was in last week, but it looks like that scoreboard may get a workout tonight. 2.03 left in the first period. Farragut on the move. Dixon, the lone setback. Under center, they give it to Dixon. He's hit at the line. He's going to surge forward for two, three yards down, maybe made the 36. And he's going to bring up a third and one or two, depending upon where they spot it. It's going to be a third and two, but they're in four down territory now. So the Blue Devils are really going to have to hump it up on defense here. He's a sneaky little guy. You never really seem to get a good shot at him. He's, he's always skittering one way or the other. And Lebanon would like nothing better than just to wrap him up and put a few helmets on him. But to his credit, Dixon's just not going to let that happen. All right, double wideouts left and right. Lone setback is Dixon. Mayhan, the quarterback underneath. They give it to Dixon. He didn't get it. Now they surge the pile forward, and if they give him forward progress, they will. But I'm thinking they have maybe blown it dead back there. But let's hold. No, they're going to give it to him. As he crossed the 30 to the 29, it'll be a first down. The How long do you get the pile in there? John, did the whistle. A whistle. Did it seem like the whistle was a little late to you down there, John? Well, if it blew, we couldn't have heard it over here, Tommy. So uh, it's hard for us to tell. We thought uh, his momentum would stop, so uh, they should have blown it dead. But evidently, they uh, had that extra surge, and they, and they gave him a first down. First and 10 at the Lebanon 29-yard line. Farragut on the move. 7-7 seven seven ball game. 52 seconds in the opening period. Mayhem in the shotgun. Draw play to Dixon, and Dixon is going to be hit by Clemens as he crosses the 24. And he'll fall across the 25 down to about the 24-yard line. Well, good play out of the shotgun. That little delay draw just handed inside to the running back and let him make something on the play. Dixon's had some good numbers so far, Terry. Tommy, that's his seventh carry of the night. Seven carries, 61 yards for Dixon. Second down six for the, for the Admirals. Inside the Blue Devil, 25 at the 24 and a half. Second and six. They split everybody. Lone setback is Dixon. And firing over the middle, almost intercepted Lebanon, and Leahy had a hand all over it. They were throwing for Butterworth down at the 19-yard line. Little low for Butterworth as they did a quickie, and Leahy got his hands on it, but it was on the ground, couldn't come up with it. This control passing game by Farragut, it's really something to see. The quarterback sits back and pops those shoulders and waits for those receivers to make their quick break. He's not dropping back very deep. He's just looking for the quick throw, and... He made that quick throw. Lehu very nearly came up with the interception. Last play of the first quarter. Wideouts left and right. One set back. Drop back. Mahan wants to throw. Fires out in the flat. And it's going to be a touchdown. Tressler missed him. Tressler was hey, taking a shot at him at the 12-yard line and missed him. He made Tressler miss. And I think that's the same guy that got that lucky catch, and it is against us a moment ago that one wasn't luck he just did well he did nothing Tressler missed him he had a dive at him and missed him at the 12 and he waltzes on in and Farragut goes up 13 to 7 here in the opening period John you've got the call Bartison's into long snap Tommy Roland to handle the snap Burnett the kick the kick is up it is good the score 14 7 three seconds to go in the I'm Joanne Sutter, a junior football cheerleader here at LHS. We're here with Mr. Alan Bain of Tiggly Wiggly, and we would like to thank them for their support We sent to them a football souvenir. Good luck, Lennon Blue Devils. Go, Big Blue! He gets on the board with only three seconds left in the first quarter. Rudy Smith, a 24-yard touchdown pass from the hand. Uh, Burnett kicks the extra point. So with only three seconds left in the first quarter, Knoxville Farragut leading Lebanon now 14-7. All right, Burnett set the kick. Here's the whistle, and here is Burnett's kick. Long and deep down the middle. Lebanon's going to let it go. They'll bring it out of the 20. It hits five yards deep in the end zone. He had that big wind. He's back again, and uh, you wish you didn't get the kick till the quarter was over, but he did, and he puts it five yards deep in the end zone. Well, Lebanon will run one play if the clock doesn't start here, and then they'll turn field position around, and we'll get the wind at our back. Damon Pitt comes out to get the offense huddled around. So we will get one play before the end of this period. Lebanon trails by a score of 14 to seven. This is the last play of the period. They bring Hankins to the near side and it's Zachary to the far side and Pitt will make the call and they swing it outside. No gonna throw. He's got Carson, 30, out to the 34 yard line. First down Lebanon, Carson on the catch over the middle and he was so wide open. Boy, if. The quickness hadn't got to him. Carson was long gone because he was wide open. 
We will be back at the end of the quarter. Farragut 14, Lebanon 7. We'll Hello, I'm Megan Davis, a junior football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We are here for Shell, McCullough, and Isles to thank them for their support and present to them these Blue Devil football souvenirs. The law firm of Rochelle McCullough Niles is proud again to be a sponsor of the Lebanon High School football team and cheerleading squad. Go Devils! SAA playoffs. The round of eight. The winner advances to the semifinals, the final four. The winner of this Lebanon Farragut game will travel to take on the winner of Knox Bearden and Riverdale next week. The Blue Devils and Farragut. Locked up in a pretty good one right here. Lebanon leads by, uh, excuse me, Lebanon trails Farragut 14 to 7. Farragut using that pass offense and Farragut uh, doing it pretty well. But the Blue Devils answering with Chris Stafford. We might have a barn burner here tonight, folks. All right, here come the Blue Devils. They're going to bring Hankins to the near side. They put uh, Zachary to the short side, the far side, and uh, Pitt will make the call. Pitt. Back to throw. Got some time. Swings it out. It's complete and then dropped. They had Joel Griffin in there for the first time. Joel Griffin back. Had it at the 32 and may have had some room with his speed but couldn't hang on to the football. Joel Griffin coming off of the knee injury was hurt in the Hendersonville game. In fact, the last home game played here was the last time Joel Griffin played. Joel was cleared on Wednesday to play by the medical staff. He worked out a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday. They put in this play for Joel, and they had him open in the flat. It looked like for good yardage. All right, Lebanon will now send uh, four wideouts to the near side. Carson's going to have to get back. He's uh, way over the line, and now Pitt, the only back, looks, fires, and they had the oh, screen man. set up to Ron C., but Pitt was rushed so hard he couldn't get it to see, and the throw was low, and C couldn't come up with it. Lebanon will have to kick it away. And we had Ron C a lane to run in the Miami screen. We had three receivers on the near side of the field, one receiver on the far side, and we had all kinds of running room for Ron C. C may have been off to the races if he holds on to that one, but it wasn't his fault. The pass was low, and it wasn't Pitt's fault because they had too much of a rush. Boy, they really come at you with that quickness. Lebanon now will set it up third down and ten. Man in motion to the near side is Reeves, the fullback. And Pitt wants to throw, swings it out to Zachary. And Zachary's going to throw. Here's Ron C. And it's intercepted. C got it. It's complete. It hit on the back of a Farragut player. And C picked it off before it hits the ground inside the 45-yard line at the 44. This I do not believe. We run the double pass with Zachary throwing the football on the post to Ron C. Farragut smells it out, tips it away, and Ron gets it on the second rebound, John. What a play. Tommy, I still can't believe he caught it. It actually hit the guy in the back after it was intercepted. It looked like it was intercepted, but Ron came up with it. What a play. What a break for the Blues. It was laying on the defensive man's back, and C picked it off. They pitch it to Stafford. Gets a block, trying to slide outside. Stafford's got a little room. Still on his feet, fighting for yardage as he crosses the 44, 43, down to the 42-yard line goes Stafford. A three-yard pickup for the Blue Devils, second down, seven. Terry Stafford, we never asked you about the yardage on that incredible pass play. What about that from Zachary to Ron? Tommy, that was good for 22 yards for Lebanon, a big third down conversion by Lebanon, all the way down to the Farragut 45. Boy, we'll take them any way we can get them. They got a lucky one earlier. Now we get a lucky one. Let's cash in on it. Blue Devils, double wideouts. Pitt the call. Pitt back to throw. Needs a block. And somebody missed one across the way. And Pitt comes all the way back across the 45 down to our 42-yard line as they drop him as he tries to get away from the rush. Somebody missed a block over there completely. And roaring in was Aaron McVay for the sack. Well, they got Pitt by the face mask on the uh -oh. play. And the official, the, the referee drop the flag so let's see what tra transpires terry if i'm help me on this the the mark off is from the spot of the foul is that right from, from the spot of the foul and you'll repeat the down so well you, we're going to lose we're not going to lose much but the referees have lost count of the yardage they don't know where to put it we're not going to lose anything we're going to uh, gain maybe a yard uh, uh oh 15 more. They're going to mark it off from. They're going to mark it off from the line of scrimmage. From the line of scrimmage. Oh boy. All right. Thank you. 
Love those referees. Well, John, ask uh, ask our friend down there with you if that's right, if you mark it from the line of scrimmage or the spot of the foul. He said previous spot, so that's 15.